Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have an absolute masterclass once again for you today where I'm going to be going through this Bitcoin chart explaining the current short position that I am in looking for lower prices how we have got to this level and where we are likely to go from this level so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one many members of my group have been telling me that you know I've traded this almost like I'm from the future with such accuracy it's it's kind of unbelievable I suppose so I hope I'm going to share today, oh look at this, we're dropping as we speak, this is lovely. I'm going to share with you today this technical analysis, why I've taken this short and, and you know where I think this is likely to go. So two things that you can know from this video before we begin. Firstly, this is a unique analysis that you are not going to see anywhere else. And secondly, it's possibly going to be the best technical analysis you've ever seen in your life, period. Because of how well respected it has been. So I just took a percentage of profit there on my short position. That doesn't mean I've closed out the short totally, but the way that I like to trade is take percentages of profits as we're reaching support levels, you know, and that's just the way I trade. So I have taken a percentage of profit there and I'm back with the technical analysis. So as I was saying, it's quite a bold statement that I have, um, you know, started this video with. This could be, well, the best technical analysis you're ever going to see. Um, so how do I have the evidence now to try and back, back up my thesis of why I've taken this short position? And it all starts, primarily we, we all know what we've been trading from over the, the last month now. Yes, one month in this sideways range. It's It's been beautiful, okay? It really has been. When we were moving from the middle or, or the low of our channel up to the high of our channel, back down to the low channel, back up to the high channel. You know, all this movement also contained by our monthly level breaking down to the midpoint, back up to the highs, back down to the lows and to where we are right now. It's all been encapsulated very well by our channels and our high term monthly and weekly levels. OK, so it's, it's very well there, re respected technical analysis. But I have a, a lovely way that I like to do technical analysis, and this is with harmonic patterns. Harmonic patterns incorporate both time and price. So I love to, tr to trade with harmonic patterns, if I'm honest. And this is the one that I'll be trading from. And, uh, you know, the first thing that you might say is, oh, Daniel, it's all, it's all well and good. You're, you're showing this harmonic now. Yes, it's, it's quite obvious, isn't it? Now it's on the chart. But I won up you on this one. And I have been trading this one way back from the 20th of May. Back from when we were here, I was expecting the rise in price, the drop, and then one more rise in price. That is what is impressive about this analysis. I'm going to show you how we got to each of those points, how I've had the chart in these times. All started off with the expectation, as you'll know, from the rise on the 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. rise to the drop down to take the lows and then to get one more rise. And this is like the story of how it's gone from that from that perspective down to the low of that perspective, back up to the high of this perspective. I am short from 9,612. So I'm, obviously, I've just hit my take profit there at 9,400. So whether I'm right or wrong in this analysis, I've made money already. But um, I mean... That, that just is is brilliant technical analysis. And obviously, the points that we've got in this in this chart, obviously, the high, okay, from the high that we, that we put in, that was obviously from the 4 a.m. trade when I was expecting this to come up to 9,300 at the 4 a.m. Asian session. That was the high which led us down to take the lows. Okay, so that was the high literally there at the 4 a.m. time before coming down, taking down these lows. And what was I saying while we were at these lows? Look at this, beautiful. While we were at these lows, what was I saying? My exact words, which I even gave publicly for free, was this, wasn't it? It was, we're at the lows, everybody's turning bearish one week too late. People are down at the lows, this 8,700 low, and everybody's turning really bearish. Do not follow the herd. The herd are always wrong. Whenever Twitter's starting to turn bearish, look for bullish signs. Whenever Twitter's starting to, you know, I don't want to, I don't even want to mention Twitter, but I mean, simply don't follow the herd. Do not do what the herd's doing. Do your own analysis. The money should come naturally. Honestly, if you're good at technical analysis, the money here is just flowing, 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 flowing because it's so easy to trade. And I, and I don't mean to say this in like a egotistical way or anything like that, but truly, when you understand these charts, oh my, there's so much money to be made. I mean, simply there is. And so yeah, the short position that I'm in at the moment, I mean, as people were in my group are saying, am I from the future? Because yes, this was traded predicting where the low would be, where then the high would be. I've predicted the high here, down to the low, back up to the high. Each section of this chart, um, you know, just just perfect. Absolutely, you know, incredible technical analysis. I'm going to stop trying to, I'm going to try and stop blowing my own horn there. But, you know, that's kind of what we lead to now. OK, this is the, the position that I'm currently in. It is in a short and it is from this perspective. OK, obviously, if this if this was the hide we've just seen at 9,600 um, and if this 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 uh, prediction is correct, then we, we would see price heading down towards 8,500. As I, as I as I you know as I even cut away from this video, I I, I took profits. Okay, so this is the thing. 
it's 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 nice to be right in trading but at the end of the day what's more important than being right is making money we're in this game to make money we're not in this game at the end of the day to to do anything else you're in trading to make money period that's the only thing you care about on this chart so i have made money on this prediction okay i've made money from trading the shorts up here to trading the longs down here to then trading the short back up here i mean that's what i've done that's what i'm looking for but can i be wrong this is the question that i'd always ask myself okay can, where am I wrong in this analysis? Where am I invalidated? Where can I say to myself, okay, it's more likely we're going to push up from here, okay? As, as I speak, this is lovely, by the way. We, we, we are just, we're dropping here. But, uh, you know, where, where am I wrong on this analysis? Well, really, uh, in my opinion, it's, it, it's possibly getting back back above about, about 9,900, to be honest with you. But we do have some local supports, okay? So what we can see here, I mean, I'm going to do this pretty... Um, you know, freehand sort of thing, but we can clearly see where there's been historically resistance support levels, okay? So we can just see like this is pretty clear, isn't it? Resistance, consolidation, support, 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 resistance, resistance, resistance. So absolutely, can price do this? I mean, absolutely it can. Can it do this into the level and then rebound higher? 100% price can do that. And we might even see it happening while we're doing, while I'm doing this video. Um, so that, that's why I like take profit at certain levels. This the reason why I took profit at the low there was simply because it's the low. I, I like to take like to take profits at the low. Obviously, I don't close out my whole position, but t taking profits. This is the this is one thing that separates professionals from amateurs, in my humble opinion. Professionals take profit. Amateurs, for instance, would be. You know, in, in a position from up here, not take profits at the low, comes back up to the high. And then, you know, amateurs don't take profits. They see crazy good gains. You know, sometimes you can see amazing gains. But guess what? They, they will see these amazing gains turn to losses or see they, these gains just evaporate from thin air. What I like to do is take profits, put that money to my bank and actually realize the gains. Unrealized PL is unrealized PL. Unrealized profits are the fake money essentially you need to realize those profits to actually make money that's what i like to do um so that's what i'm trading from at the moment and this is this is the analysis essentially um <laughs> you know we've got the key support so re really for me key support 9300 it's a really big level 9280 9300 it's a, it's a critical support level you can see we all know it was also our monthly okay so don't forget about this, this, this monthly slash a little bit lower, really 9,280 to 9,300. Can we, can we bounce off of this level? Do I have to be right on this? Absolutely not. We can do this and then back up to here. A hundred percent. We can do that. I'm not saying it's not possible. I, I trade probabilities. I don't trade certainties. Only Siths speak in absolutes. Yeah, I said it. Uh, you know, so I'm all about the probabilities in this game. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm more than, I'm more than happy to say, you know, this can move higher it absolutely can move higher um you know that's how i trade that's my perspective on the chart you know I'm, I'm always looking what's the most likely what's the highest probabilities okay is it more probable that we go up is it more probable that we go down okay that's how i view the chart and how do i arrive to these probabilities i have a backlog of statistics that i record myself i have a technical analysis confluence so you know i'm not just trading off of this one tool but i am combining several tools together and when i see these tools all lining up together well that guess what that gives me the confluence to have strong probabilities and odds in my favor okay i'm never ever thinking price you know for instance think back to this one i was saying price is going to go to around 9300 at 4 a.m yes price hit 9310 at 4 a.m exactly and obviously that was predicted it you know it, prior to that but I, my, my words are not a hundred percent it's going to go up to this level and a hundred percent we're going to reverse to that level yes price came up to 9300 4 a.m and rejected but guess what there was confluence for this to happen okay there was confluence to this for this to happen and secondly it was only a probability there was no guarantee that was going to happen but naturally to make money in trading you have to put your money where your mouth is you have to actually trade off of off of the findings that you have and I'd acknowledge that there's always a risk, okay? So whenever I put on a trade, I acknowledge I can lose that trade. Hence why risk management is at the forefront of my attention all the time, okay? So I always have a very focal, you know, a big focus on technical analysis, you know, risk management, I meant to say there. Of course, I need to have, a, uh, you know, of course, I need to have a, 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 a you know, technical analysis, uh, <laughs> risk management on point. So I'm losing it here. I'm losing it here. <laughs> but, you know, obviously that's at the forefront of my, of my attention all the time. So, you know, this is a quick analysis some people will not like it some people will un undoubtedly dislike it uh, and others will will be like wow this is brilliant where can where can i learn how to do this i mean 
there's two types of people in the world. Um, so yeah, no, this is this is basically what we have here. So to 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 give you something to that you can actually use to to trade here, nine thousand three hundred. No, let's just say nine nine thousand two fifty. Let's just say this is a very big support level. Okay, simply from a resistance support standpoint. That's a big support level. OK, secondly, where's a big resistance? Well, clearly this 9600 is a big resistance is what we've been waiting for. But, um, you know, really above that, you have around 9770, 9780. Let's just say 9800. Those are levels that are be that could be, could be reached essentially while still being predominantly bearish. The volume of this rise has just been awful once again. I mean, Look at it, just declining as you build up here. I mean, the, the, the distribution schematic is still very much real and the volume absolutely fits it. So, you know, I'm, I'm very content with this. But yeah, absolutely, I acknowledge a push push here could, could happen to 9,800. I'm guaranteed to make money even if that happens off of this short, to be honest with you, because because I can now have my stop loss in, in profit. But nevertheless, yeah, I'll be looking for 9,800 region uh, for another potential short, um, you know, then, then you know, if if we break above that, then yeah, naturally I could be looking up towards ten thousand two hundred type levels. Okay, so I will take it a step at a time. I'm not going to say to you right now this is definitely going to happen. It's a guarantee. I do trade off of probabilities, but as you can see, would you like to bet that I'm wrong? <laughs> would you ever like to counter trade me? <laughs> I mean, you're going to be pretty crazy if you do. Um, nailing all of these points in this market way back from when the range started um you know it's, it's been an absolute joy okay it has been honestly an absolute joy to trade it as you'll know originally married this range and it's it's still treating me pretty well i mean this this right here the low 9350 and that that monthly is nine 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 four nine four forty so i mean ten dollars from possibly a front run so yeah no i'm gonna go and manage this position now might go and switch this into a long potentially i need to go look at my statistics i hope that you do enjoy this video and it has served you well. OK, and we can catch up in the next technical analysis that I give you it might enter into a long. Um, so, you know, I guess I'll end with this. If you want the real time updates, if you if you would love to have known when I'm taking these short positions, I mean, you could have literally entered at the highs of me and already made a load of money. So if you if you're interested in these short, you know, these real time updates that I give of how I'm taking my trades, but, you know, predominantly you learning how I make these predictions. So, you know, how I knew what we were going to time out at 4 a.m. high, how I then believed would come down and take these lows before seeing the rise in price, how I, I stress that you don't want to follow the crowd. But you might want to follow me because I kind of nail it. You know, chartchampions.com, place for you. You can come over and, and, and learn this, um, you know, what I'm giving you, as well as these updates. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to say thank you once more and have a brilliant day. Cheers, everybody, and goodbye. Bye.